Hey guys, welcome back to Z-Bay's Minecraft World. And uh, we'll wait till this thing gets loaded up, and then we'll start on today's adventure. Hmm. Right? Me for yeah, okay. today's adventure. Why did you do that? No music today, since okay, YouTube keeps copywriting me for fully legal songs. They want to copyright someone, they should copyright <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> They want to copyright someone. <laughs> here I go again, filling up on ears. What's going on here, you two? I don't <laughs> criticize, but I do get pissed. Overcooking this meal. We accidentally wore each other's underwear. <laughs> I can't believe you wore each other's underwear. This is hysterical. Shut up. No, it's not even Wednesday. It's Tuesday night. That's right. I started writing a book um, called Quotes of Life. It's uh, quotes that I have used throughout my entire life that I have made up by that I have made up myself. And uh, shit. Sorry. Sorry, there's a, there's a rain, it, there's a thunderstorm outside, so nothing is working as it should because there is a rainstorm outside. And my game is very, very glitchy for some reason, and I have no idea why. What's going on out there, Dad? We accidentally What'd you get out of my goddamn house? <laughs> I built you four ho four houses. It's one, two, three. Okay, three. I built you three houses, and there are plenty of beds in each one. Go use those houses. Stop using mine. Why are there so many cats? Who needs this many cats? I guess it's every time I expand it, then more stuff appears. Right, today we are going to be building a, um, to support mental health patients, I am going to be uh, building a mental health institution building. Right here, it's going to be small, there's going to be beds in it and stuff for any of those that need to stay the night, and I am going to make it out of birch this time, and uh, the floor is going to be made out of birch, and the um, walls are going to be made of quartz. I like quartz. Uh, Me too. And thank you for cleaning the milk and table. 
Then we had quite a week as well. We sure did. I mean, you got your ass kicked by a cat. Well, it was really more of a draw. Yeah, but, uh, hey, you want to end the show with a to be continued meme? I, I don't even know what that. change a channel and watch anything except the stupid home renovation shows. What's wrong with it? Besides their lack of permits, lots of things. It's mindless cookie cutter entertainment for wish fulfillment nobles. And the more I watch these stupid shows, the more I realize I really love them. Oh my god, me too. It's the only thing I watch on play. No, why would they take that house over the ramp style? It's close to the city center, which according to these shows is important. You know, I bet we could do our own HGTV show. Those property husbands can do it. We can do it. They're brothers. They're husbands. Are you guys suggesting we make our own show instead of going to the doctor for our weekly high blood pressure? I think we could easily do both. Why not? Be it? Let's do it. It'll be fun. And you know, we haven't got anything together since we rode that ride at the amusement park. I feel like, yeah, uh, I might be too heavy for this ride. No, no, they count for all types of people. You're fine. But if you have a door for each day of the week, you would need seven, Peter, because there's seven days in a week. There's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.
Eating room punkies. Thank you, Roomba. You never be there, Roomba. I just feel like I should have been consulted on this decision to bring my natural enemy into the house. They may seem like good pets, but they always have ulterior motives. Well, I just have an example. Some cat. Fake whispers to the dog. Oh, 
You cannot withstand the storm. The dog replies, I am out. The dog replies, I am the out. I am the out. Stewie, did you know she can talk? No, we were just discussing our book about Chinese communism with Chairman Mao. Aww. You're right, you're right. Sorry, sorry. No, I mean, she can really talk. She told me that she is using the family for some kind of cat plan. Ryan, have you been watching Flat Earth videos? Those always make you mistrustful. I'm serious, Stewie, and there are actually some Flat Earth models that aren't completely idiotic. Look, I can't do this right now. We've created our book about Chairman Mao. Wow. Sorry, sorry. So get out of here, Ryan. You're messing me up. Babe, I need to talk to you about Pouncy. It is my duty as this family's dog to protect it when I sense danger. And I sense danger with Pouncy. Look, you may be our family dog, but you've never really been my dog. I'm a punching bag at school and at home. And there were some days where I could have really used a dog to help cheer me up. And where were you? Hanging out with Dad or, or Chris or Stewie for your little time travel adventures? You know about the time machine? Yeah, my room's right next door. That thing's loud and... I have a new pet now. One that's there for me when I need her. Unlike you. Okay, I see. You have a microwave in your room? Yeah, I got tired of people groaning every time I went into the kitchen. Oh. You got the Rittenbachers up in there? Yeah. Oh, word. Brian, stop trying to sound young. <laughs> okay, booger. <sighs> Boomer. Boomer. You make me so happy, Pouncy. This is gonna sound weird. But do you like to dance? <coughs> Crazy. It's a real thing discovered by this guy. 
Oh dear God. So what you're saying is that everyone who likes cats only likes them because they literally have crap in their brain? That's correct. And people who like dogs just like them because they're chill as hell? That's correct. Well, what a bulletproof fact. There's still time to save Meg. There's a big house on the loneliest block in Kohar. We can find her there. But go quick. Once she puts on the fuzzy sweater, it's too late. You're not going to come with me? I can't. <clears throat> they have me too. Go, Brian. Get out of here. <clears throat> Hello? Dad, you're never gonna believe 
I work hard to keep this family in wet bathing suits. And at the end of the day, all I want is to come home, relax, do a couple of rad jumps through Sprinkler City, and then enjoy a popsicle on the front steps while I look at bugs. We don't deserve this guy. Hey, Dad. Rule number one, your wife is always right. Rule number two, if your wife is wrong, please refer to rule number one. <laughs> I gotta text that to my girl later. Why not right now? Oh, she's probably eating dinner. And we believe family time is special. Uh-huh. So, Chris, what's this girl's name? Anyway, Jennifer. Well, I'd love to see Jenny Fair's Facebook page. Oh, we don't really believe in social media, but I can show you a picture. What is this? There's an ad for Tim Hortons in Canada. She's a model for them. She gets her weight in coffee free every month. That's too much coffee. I also love coffee. It's important in relationships to have shared interests. You could learn from that, Dad. Well, I may have relationship problems, but at least I have a real relationship. What are you saying? You don't have a girlfriend. You made her up. No, I didn't. She's real. She's real, huh? Well, then, let's go see it. You and I are going to Canada first thing in the morning. Gina, don't forget you get the flu shot tomorrow morning. We're going to Canada right now. And then after, you're supposed to have your prostate exam. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to Canada. And then on Friday, we detail your Percocet prescription. Sometime next week, we're going to Canada. <laughs> She's gonna crack way before that. Well, at least bring this thick sweater. Canada's his only chance to get out. Larry! See you on the other side, boys. And when I get there, I'll send you a cable. This fall, Pixar presents sweaters. Pixar, we're not a guaranteed home run anymore. Look, your dad's away and it's time to load up my 